Nvidia has just sent me a mystery box. Inside the box is something through which I can run LLMs on a tiny form factor. What exactly is it? Well, it is the Nvidia Jetson Orin Nano Super Developer Kit that offers performance that is a game changer for developers who want to create on device generative AI applications that can be used in various fields such as robotics as well as IoT and other applications that you can think of. Well, this amazing beast of a pocket size machine costs around $250 only. If I have to compare the Super Kit with its predecessor that is the original Nvidia Jetson or in Nano Developer Kit, then there are some major improvements that you can see. Both of them are powered by the Nvidia Ampere architecture, but the GPUs are clocked at 1020 MHz. When I say it's a beast in performance for AI task, as compared to the previous generation, it now produces 67 tops. Tops are nothing else but tera operations per second. Even the CPU has been clocked at a higher speed at 1.7 GHz. The memory is much more faster for IO operations. Now the current memory operations are at 102 gigabits per second. And something special has been introduced in the super that is the super mode. That is this entire device can output at 25 watts. Previously there were two modes 7 watt and 15 watt. The current wattage that is supported is 25 watts. With the specification out of the way, let's move on to the actual demo that I wanted to show you. I link to the official documentation in terms of once you buy it, how you should go about configuring it. So every information should be present in the links that I share across. Now I'll straight away jump to the demo part of things. After you have completed the setup, this is how the screen looks like. Now if I go forward, when I click on the right hand side, here are different modes that are available. So you have the max N mode, which is running the device at 25 watts. Then there are two default modes that are available, which is 15 and 7 watts. When I open the power GUI, you can see the load across CPUs, GPUs, etc. So every possible hardware information is what is available here. I already have Olama configured on the Orin Nano Super Developer Kit. So I'll kind of now show you the magic of running LLMs on this amazing device. I have downloaded the Llama 3.2 model already on Olama and this is the response that I see. When I ask a bigger question like how to build a humanoid robot, here is where you see the entire output in full glory. So just so that you're clear, I'm using Olama along with open web UI for generating this particular response. Now I also wanted to show you the difference that you can see when you have different modes enabled. So I'll quickly go through that section as well. Now given that there are three modes, how is the output streamed or what is the tokens per second that you can expect for different wattages? So for 7 watt, this is how the response is generated for the same question. This is the response for 15 watt and this is the response for 25 watts. So the maximum tokens per second that is around 17 tokens per second is what you can expect for a Llama 3.2 model on this particular kit. For 15 watts the tokens per second reduced to around 13 and if you're running it on a low power then you can expect anywhere between 5 tokens per second. If you are doing a benchmark in terms of the previous generation of this device and the current generation. You can see the overall speed ups that you get when you start using LLMs for your use case. When I'll take an example of Llama 3.1, I am looking at anywhere around 1.5 times gain of the original device that was there. So for every set of models that I'm kind of showing you right now, you can expect anywhere between 1.5 to 2.5 gains in the overall tokens per second or the throughput of the entire system. Not only can you run normal LLMs, but you can also run reasoning models. But before I show you that, I have to share something across. NVIDIA GTC 2025 is scheduled from 17th to 21st March. NVIDIA is pushing the limits in terms of creating the compute that is required for running LLMs. And this year GTC will bring together developers, researchers, business leaders and innovators to explore the latest advancements in AI and accelerated computing. The main key themes include AI platforms and deployment, edge computing, robotics and many others. 
You can sign up online for GTC 2025 using the link in the description of the video and you can kind of tune into sessions which appeal to you virtually as well. So make it a point to register for GTC 2025. So if I take a deep seek R1 distilled Quen 1.5 billion model which is kind of quantized in nature, I can also run that as well. Isn't this amazing? So here the model is thinking and giving out the responses. So this too is possible on this amazing kit. Well, this is all that I wanted to show you. I wanted to give you a glimpse of what all you can do with the NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano Super Developer Kit. Thank you so much for watching the video and remember to sign up for GTC 2025.